It's the end of the homeschool year. And besides our homeschool portfolios, what do you really have to look back on? All of those pictures that are stuck on your cell phone or that are posted on Facebook and Instagram. What happens 10 years down the road when your phone falls in the pool or you break your phone or you get a new phone? Where do all those pictures go? How are you gonna have all these keepsakes of what you guys did in your homeschool journey to motivate you to see how amazing your homeschool year was? Well, I'm gonna give you an amazing idea coming up. Hey guys, it's Bonnie from Mrs. Mom's Homeschool and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I make videos to help you on your homeschooling journey. Now, I've been homeschooling for a while now and I've been, I have been just started last two years ago doing something brand new and that's making homeschool yearbooks. So I'm going to show you how I make my homeschool yearbook. It's going to be a short video. I'm going to show you two of our homeschool yearbooks and I'm going to send you on your way. I will link a description below. I will link in the description below what I use to make these albums. It is an, an affiliate link. I think it's an affiliate link. <laughs> Hopefully it is. Um, so you guys can check out that, that website. However, you don't have to go with them. You can do, you can find some other business to do this for you, but this is the easiest way. So anyway, what am I talking about? What the heck am I talking about? I talked about the phones, phones and our pictures. We have all our pictures stored in here. We send them to people. We post them on Facebook and Instagram, but then they're gone. 10 years down the road, we have nothing to show for all the beautiful things that we've done. So I started making homeschooling yearbooks. So I'm going to show you my two yearbooks in a second. The reason why I just started doing, I actually have three. My daughter's very first year of homeschool, my, my 15 year old's first year of homeschool, I did make a yearbook for her. And my son was two years old and he, she was like six or five. And so I, that was my very first yearbook. After that, I would just purchase the yearbooks from our homeschool co-ops. But over time, I was taking so many pictures at home of all the beautiful things we were doing and all of the stuff that we were doing with our friendships outside of the co-ops and none of these things were in those albums. And I decided to make some myself. So I use, uh, let me show you the album. Uh, let me get them for you. So here they are, and they are all the same size. This is when my oldest one was homeschooling. This is when I was homeschooling that third little girl. And this was uh, two years ago, 2021 to 2022. This homeschool year, I'm still working on. I took a lot of pictures. But these are all the same size. They're eight and a half by 11 and I've made them on Snapfish. Um, you can pick any size you want. My family albums are 12 by 12. My homeschool albums are in a half by 11. You can put the year there on the side. You can do the covers and even the back the way that you want to. And then it's like if you've ever been a scrapbooker back before you had kids <laughs> and it's like a digital, it basically is a digital scrapbook. So you have the opportunity to decorate each page exactly how you want it. But if you don't want to, um, the program will do it for you. So I use snapfish.com and it's very simple guys. I'm going to tell you so quickly, this video is going to be so fast, exactly what I do. So I have the snapfish app right here on my phone. Okay. And then I try to remember once a month to go into the snapfish and upload all of the pictures. If you have an iPhone, your pictures can be stored by month and year. So what I try to do is I go through my phone and I upload one month at a time. And I'm then in the snapfish, app i will label it month and year may 2023 then i'm going to upload all the pictures that i took on my cell phone for may 2023 into that album and i just keep doing that as the year goes on so i also started separating in my phone separate folders in the iphone you can make folders so i have three different folders i have one for our one co-op one for the second co-op and one album that's homeschooling all together so then when i upload those pictures into snapfish I upload them into my homeschooling, a new folder called homeschool. And then you can go ahead and design your page. Let's look at that really quickly and see what that looks like. I'm going to show you the first one because my albums have come a long way since then. But you know what? And to be honest with you, this one was made on Shutterfly. So what I do like about Shutterfly, it's not as user friendly as Snapfish to me, but it does have these cute backgrounds like Dr. Seuss and this whole theme here was Dr. Seuss, which Snapfish does not have that. Shutterfly does, but Snapfish is so much easier to use and you can add so much more to it. Let me change this angle for you. So you can see the different field trips and things that they've done, any projects, even when she was in gymnastics, I had all of these things. So then we go into my newest one, which was two years ago. 
and it's thicker because we did a lot more but you can even add some journaling in there you know when I even went out and put like our units you know those little Instagram pictures with your units you can see exactly what you did I did another like journal entry I even added my teenager stuff in here for the whole school year and in museums I just labeled them here more journaling and pictures of the cloud classes you can add all these little things to it so this is even like I said I added my teenagers school stuff the rent the little bit of pictures that she allowed me to take <laughs> that year but any projects anything any field trips anything we had is in here so now I don't have to worry about those pictures all just being stuck on my phone and another great thing about these albums guys is if you have grandparents or people who are skeptical about your homeschooling when they look through these albums they're going to be amazed at all of the things that you guys have done in a, in a homeschool year especially if you've done a lot of things with others they're going to be really impressed at all of the things that you've done so i am definitely showing this to my in-laws <laughs> this year and this is this is last year's but i'm going to show it to them anyway um, just so that everybody can see and you can make the, the pictures you really like big, you know, pictures of her artwork. Um, so yeah, if you have people in your life that are not on board with you homeschooling, this is a great way to showcase all of the cool things that you've done with your kids and all the things that they're learning and how much better homeschooling is than any other education. I don't care what anybody says. So what do you guys do to keep the memories? What do you do with your photos when you're after you take them? Does anybody print them out anymore? Does anybody else make albums? I have a whole bunch of albums that are 12 by 12s that are family photos. Like every single family photo that I've taken on my camera goes in the album before number one because this thing can only hold so much photo and video. And number two, I want other people, I want to share that for years to come. So now like when my when my nieces and nephews come over, they can see physical albums of them when they were really little and the thing is it's not like regular pictures they don't get damaged it's 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 on paper you know it's like on the paper the pictures are not gonna get lost you can't take them out um and it's just a, a great idea and these books they hold up well I haven't had any damage at all so I'm gonna put the link of the snapfish snapfish I hope I didn't say snapchat earlier because sometimes I confuse the names <laughs> but I'm gonna put the name of my um my affiliate link down in the description below and encourage you guys to start making homeschool yearbooks so that you can share and keep those memories when your kids are grown you're going to be able to see all the cool stuff that you guys did and take lots of pictures during the day during your homeschool day if your kids are outside in the hammock of uh, reading a book take pictures of that take pictures of them at the table take pictures of all you guys homeschooling together like it's, it's just a blessing to look back at all the beautiful things that we do that we take for granted and then sometimes you're like you look at those albums and you think, wow, we did a lot this year. You know, it's good. It's a good motivator for yourself as well. All right, guys, that's it. That's all I have for you. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.